The economic slowdown caused by the pandemic is driving down revenues for counties all across the state. In order to save money, Sandoval County is now asking some workers to volunteer to go on furlough. News 13's Courtney Allen joins us live from her home this evening with details. Courtney. Dean, the county is asking non-essential employees to voluntarily furlough taking unpaid leave. The county says it can't justify paying workers who are unable to carry out their jobs during the pandemic. Those workers were able to take emergency administrative leave for hours not worked, collecting the same amount of income they usually would, but that ended on May 1st. And now the county is asking non-essential employees to make a decision. This is kind of the county's way of, of asking those people that have been getting paid and made whole this entire time without being able to fulfill their job position to see if maybe they can try a different avenue. Public Information Officer Stephen Montoya says they made this decision while considering what they could afford going into the next fiscal year beginning in July. Right now, the county projects they'll lose $5 million from its general fund. News 13 asked how many employees the county would need to volunteer. Montoya says they don't have a number in mind. We have enough faith in our employees that they can see the benefit of what we're offering them right now. We want to bring everybody back to the county as soon as we possibly can. We, would, we would definitely want to allow everybody to have the opportunity to keep their jobs. Furloughed workers could still collect unemployment. News 13 asked the county if they would be forced to take action if no one volunteers. Montoya simply said they would need to reevaluate how to move forward. Back to you. All right, Courtney, thank you. Employees applying for unemployment compensation will receive an additional $600 per week. That in addition to the regular unemployment benefits through July 31st.